the question itself is a thought. So what, that, what I mean by that is if you just look out here and there's just this, right? Where's the contemplation occurring? Where's the, where's, the, the, where's the contemplation that says, well, why isn't it like this or that, or why is it like this? I don't see that where I'm looking. Where I'm looking doesn't question anything. It has no questions. It has no, it needs no answers. It's neither here nor there, neither close nor far, light nor heavy. It's blue and it's also not blue at all. It's color and form and it's also no form. It's completely formless. It's right there. You've got to, when you're talking about this the kind of non dual clarity and formless clarity, you have to notice when attention bounces back into the mind. It'll happen like that very quickly. And you'll either be checking back in with yourself to be someone experiencing that, or you'll be contemplating about the process, going, well, wait, what about the, the, the mind is sneaky? It'll, it'll say things like, oh, I'm just kind of curious about this. No, you're not. It's interesting when this. This shift, this the, the non-dual shift is approaching or when people are kind of like coming up against it, often they'll have a different kind of fear. It feels like you're literally being like swallowed up into it, like, like absorbed and like, it's almost like suffocating. It, the fear of it is, the experience isn't, but the fear of the experience, it can be really intense when you really, when it really starts to click, like you're gonna go into this and you're not coming back out. There's no, there's no inner world. There's nowhere to come back to at all anymore. Just keep your attention out there. So like when you look over here and you just see this stuff, right? What do you see? Or this stuff? It doesn't matter. You can look at me. You don't need to know. Just keep looking. Keep noticing what's there. You can pick something kind of vaguely defined or like abstract. That helps sometimes. And just notice how long can you keep your attention there before something registers as me or I'm, I'm aware, I'm the one making that an object out there. That will never become an object until it's referenced internally as I'm a subject and that's an object. Something actually has to happen for that to turn into an object, a three-dimensional physical experience of an object. And that's, that's what I would just call the bounce back. This is really, really simple but kind of subtle work. And you have to be really alert to noticing where your tension moves. Yeah, when you close your eyes too, you do, you are seeing, you're seeing the back of your eyelids, you're seeing like shades of gray and like brown. But most of the time we completely overlook that. We filter, the, the visual field like can very easily just filter out something that seems unimportant, just like the sound field can. It's still there, but the mind will filter it out and just turn it into unimportant and go into thoughts. But if you just remember, oh, actually, no, I'm looking at something there. You're looking at the most interesting thing you'll ever see. I promise you that. You're looking into, like, not to be too, too dramatic, you're looking in the face of God. You're looking into the void. But don't, you don't need those terms. Just stay with it.